It's a thing that happens in The Sims 2 as well. I've got the mod that fixes it for The Sims 2. I just didn't know whether it would be an issue. <gasps> oh my freaking God, Riley, Riley. You've been in your aunt's house for two freaking seconds and you've already set fire to it. Seriously, Riley. Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah and welcome to a brand new series. Today I feel like playing through nostalgia by playing a pack of The Sims Past, except it's not a pack, it's an entire game that I've never played before. We are playing The Sims Life Stories. Take a good look at this, yes I have the actual game disc. You might be recognizing the style of this artwork, the style of these sims. If you're familiar with The Sims 2, this was released at the time of The Sims 2. However, you might be noticing this up in the corner here. It says PC laptop friendly. So The Sims 2 at the time it was released was a little bit heavy for some of the laptops that were available back then. A lot of laptops had some issues running The Sims 2. So what The Sims did, they recognized that and they went, have this game that isn't quite so heavy on your system but you still get to have some fun sims time. How freaking cool is that? So there's actually the sims life stories, there's also the sims pet stories and there's the sims castaway stories as well. I have all three of those games. My aim is to play through all three of these games because the really fun and exciting thing about these games for me that I'm super excited about, it's quest based gameplay. We have experienced some quest based gameplay before on this channel through things like the Strangerville gameplay, even through the Journey to Buck 2 gameplay that I did. That's all quest based stuff. I really like that. <laughs> That's just me personally. I really like that kind of stuff. So I like it when the game tells me to do something and I do it. It, it gives me the fun times. <laughs> That's what I like. So we do have some of that. We do have two different stories, I believe. So we're going to start with one specific story, play all the way through that story and then play through the other story that is a part of this game. That's what I want for this series. I'm so excited. With that being said, let's bring up the Sims life stories and we'll get introduced into who we're going to be playing with and let's get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. I mean, we do absolutely love a good little intro screen like that. So you will be seeing that the art style, it uses all of The Sims 2 uh, modeling in that kind of way. The Sims 2 art style in that kind of way. Even The Sims 2 music, <laughs> it's fantastic. It was released in 2007, this game. So you'll be seeing we have Riley's story and then we do have another story as far as I'm aware as well. Ah, yes, Vincent's story, but we can't play Vincent's story yet. I think we've got to play through Riley's story first. So Riley here, you will have seen her in that trailer there. She was the Sim that was kind of the focus of that trailer. And I guess that trailer kind of spoiled the story, but we're going to play through it anyway. So Riley Harlow had been living in Sims city all her life until she lost her job. Facing eviction, Riley turned to the one person she could count on, her aunt Sharon. Good old Aunt Sharon. Sharon had always been kind enough to help Riley out in a pinch, so Riley arranged to stay at her aunt's house in the suburb of Four Corners until she was back on her feet. So this is the story we're going to be playing through. The thing is, I'm pretty sure there's 12 chapters in this entire story, so that's pretty wild. I'm kind of aiming to maybe do one chapter per episode, so we're going to have 12 episodes of Riley's story. I don't know how long the chapters are going to be, though. That's the thing. We'll just wait and see, but that's the, the base plan that I have so far. So look at this. Now I've never played this before. I have absolutely no idea what I'm in store for here. I have no idea about any of 
Okay, no worries. We are getting tutorial stuff. Also, the UI is freaking massive. I need to see if I can go into options and maybe change the size of the UI. It's a little bit big. It's taking up a very lot of the screen. Anyway, so welcome. Welcome to Riley's story. He will play the story of Riley Harlow, who has just moved from SimCity to stay at her aunt Sharon's house. During the course of Riley's story, you will be given rewards by other Sims. These rewards will be located in your inventory. Well, that's interesting. In our inventory, we have a phone. That's all we've got at the moment. That's a good start though. A phone is a good start. Don't forget your Sims basic needs. I think I'm pretty good with keeping up with needs. That being said, they decay a lot quicker in The Sims 2, so it's going to be interesting. Anyway, to keep on top of things, use the needs keyboard shortcuts to keep your Sims happy. And with 3D comes new ways to move the camera. Fantastic. I'm very familiar with that. You can also move using WASD, which I'm also very familiar with. The family journal keeps track of all of the story goals. That's fantastic. Power wants. Power wants? What is power want and generational goals that you have completed you can check the family journal by pressing f4 or clicking on the family journal button fantastic so that's going to be good to keep track of the story where i'm up to in the story okay i know how to do all of that stuff let's just pause the game for a minute i'm seeing we've got a goal a goal we had a goal to have a house and i guess that was to come to aunt sharon's house was that goal wow i think that's aunt sharon sharon foss in the doorway there so what is our next goal our goal is to welcome to four corners thanks so much <laughs> so it's fantastic. I want to earn a hundred simoleons. I want to buy a sculpture and I want to buy a painting. Okay, Riley, you're kind of giving me bougie vibes. We've only got 1,325 simoleons and you're wanting to buy a sculpture and buy some art. Riley, we need to get some priorities in order I fir first, I reckon. Oh, Sharon's coming out to say hello to us, is she? No worries, it's fine. Ah, oh, cute. It's so nice to see you again, Riley. I'm so happy you're going to be staying here. Remember, this is your home now, so feel free to poke around. No worries. Have we just completed that goal of Welcome to Four Corners? Yes. Okay, no worries. Now come here and give your auntie a big hug. Okay, no worries. We're getting lots of things. So welcome to Four Corners. Below you will find the story goal that needs to be completed for the story to continue. I figured that out. In this case, that goal is to hug Aunt Sharon. That's a little bit cute. Once completed, you'll see the icon flip to the next goal. No worries. So with that being said, we've got to give Aunt Sharon a hug. So we've got a hug and friendly. Let's do it. Cute. That's adorable. What is our next goal? Oh, please wait. I've got to wait for the next goal, apparently. No worries. So while we're waiting, let's maybe just have a look in the house. Oh, okay. A car. Okay, I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but I have to take care of something very urgent at the bank. I should be back before tonight. Remember, the house is yours. Aunt Sharon, it's 8.47 in the morning. I would hope that you won't be at the bank until tonight. That is a long time. What's going on, Aunt Sharon? Oh, no, that seems a little bit sus to me. That seems just a little bit suspicious. We are still please waiting on a goal. But anyway, back to having a look at Aunt Sharon's house now that she's gone. It's a beautiful house. Have a look at this kitchen, would you? Very cute. And very cute. And I'm guessing that's probably Aunt Sharon's room. And I would say we've got the room with the very funky wallpaper. No worries. It's fine. This is a really nice house, though. Absolutely beautiful. We are dancing to the stereo. Oh, we have a goal. We have a goal. I'm hungry. No worries. No worries, Riley. Let's see if we can maybe um, get us some food going then. What can we do? Do you have any skills? Okay, you do have skills. You've got two cooking. That's fine because I didn't want you to be cooking something without having any cooking skill. Let's cook a, a toast to pastry. Just have a toast to pastry. Okay, I know. I'm working on it for you, Riley. I haven't eaten a thing since that burger back in Pleasant View. I wonder what Aunt Sharon has in the fridge. Sorry about the black square. It's a thing that happens in The Sims 2 as well. I've got the mod that fixes it for The Sims 2. I just didn't know whether it would be an issue. <gasps> oh my freaking God! Riley! Riley! Riley, you have been in this house for two seconds, Riley, 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 Riley. I should have just had cereal. I should have just had cereal. Don't freak out about the fire. Can you extinguish it, Riley? You've been in your aunt's house for two freaking seconds and you've already set fire to it. Seriously, Riley? You better enjoy this, Riley. You nearly burnt down your aunt's house when you've been here for two hours. Seriously. Could you imagine if I just killed Riley immediately, though? 
Now to get out of these clothes. I've been wearing them since I left SimCity. Let's see what Aunt Sharon has in her wardrobe. Good thing with the... Uh, Riley! Riley, that's a little bit creepy, honey. Seriously, that's just a little bit creepy. To change into different clothes, click on the armoire. First, select which outfit you wish to wear by selecting plain plan outfit. I can't believe we're about to raid our aunt's freaking wardrobe. This is really weird, Riley. Really weird. You're being, you're acting kind of entitled, Riley. You're kind of acting entitled <laughs> and it's, it's really weird. All right, let's look at what Aunt Sharon has in her wardrobe. I can't have a look at full body outfits. I mean, this makes sense. She's Aunt Sharon. She's got some very interesting choices for Aunt Sharon, but she's an older lady. Like, well, not old. She's not old. She's just like a proper adult. I kind of get the feeling that Riley is like in her early 20s and that Aunt Sharon is maybe in her 40s. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Maybe we could go with a halter neck. I don't know. Halter neck is a good option. Solid option. Very on trend. Maybe with the khaki colored pants? I don't know. That's like, looks like a trendy outfit to me. I don't know. Let's just do that. Was I not meant to plan the outfit? Was I meant to just change her outfit? It said plan outfit before though. I don't know, but I just, it's not completing the goal. Let's change into your formal wear then and just see what happens. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. I was just meant to change her outfit, not plan it. Then why did it say plan before then? I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I'm a little more comfortable now with a change of clothes, although I'm sure I look like a mess. Where's the nearest mirror? I need a little makeover. Do you need a little makeover, Riley? You're beautiful. Change my appearance. Okay, well, that one actually does say change my appearance. It's fine. <laughs> we're going to come into the bathroom and we're going to change her appearance. Don't lay on your aunt's bed. Riley, Riley, she's giving me such entitled vibes. Like, Riley, what's your deal? Like, why, why did you lose your job, Riley? I'm a little bit intrigued. Why did you lose your job? What happened there? Um, I don't really want to change her, though. She's really, really pretty. I love this. I could maybe give her the waves. This was my favorite hairstyle for this entire Sims 2. So yes, the crinkles changed your appearance. You still look absolutely gorge. Okay, now waiting for the next goal. Oh, there's someone walking past our house. Oh, hey, these are the people that were in the trailer. Oh, okay. Are, the, are we about to... Okay, the welcome wagon is here. That is so funny that it was even called the welcome wagon back in these days. I should go say hello. Press G to greet the neighbors. Okay, I'll press G. We're greeting neighbors three people we've got mickey mickey smith oh mickey you're so fine are we are we right i mean let's take a look at mickey maybe he is fine wait maybe he is fine because i think this lady is swooning at mickey she is fiona is full swooning at mickey is mickey fine oh mickey you are so fine you're so fine you blow my mind hey mickey indeed and then we've got agora okay but fiona is full swooning at mickey Okay, welcome to Four Corners, Riley. Here's a little housewarming present we all bought for you. It's that coffee maker from the infomercials. Eclectic coffee maker from the... In this is weird. <laughs> this is kind of strange. I mean, I don't really drink coffee, so it's like not my thing at all. But anyway, more zing, less ping than a regular coffee maker. The eclectic model by Simplex is styled for the eccentric Sim who wants it all. Style and good taste. Okay, no worries. We're going to have a chat to Fiona. I'm waiting for the next goal. Oh, everyone is freaking... Okay, I'm I'm starting to sense something here. Everyone is freaking swooning at Mickey. Mickey seems like the guy. He's talking about kissing. He seems like the guy. Are we about to enter a love triangle with Mickey? Because they're talking about how much they like kissing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're not having a good time over here. Fiona. Oh, we are having a bad time talking to Fiona. Okay, well, maybe while I'm waiting for a goal, because a goal hasn't made itself known, I maybe, maybe I will talk to Mickey because everyone else seems to be pretty freaking obsessed with Mickey at the moment. So maybe I can join in on the club of being obsessed with Mickey. And she is. She freaking is. I swear to God, she just had the hearts. She's got a crush on Mickey. We're going to be entering a love triangle. I am seeing it right now. It's happening. I wanted to talk to Mickey, though. Let me chat to Mickey. Okay, Agora, like, back off and let someone else have a turn. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there is definitely... There... Oh! Oh! Oh, we are entering into some big drama. Big drama is happening right now. Big drama. They're fighting. 
I'd say, I'm just going to say they're fighting over Mickey and then here's me just having a good old chat to Mickey. Maybe I can tell him that I admire him. Mickey, I admire you. Also, they just fully just invited themselves inside this house that isn't even mine. It's Aunt Sharon's. I know she said to treat it like our house, but it's not even mine. And they just invite themselves in. Well, I don't know about you, but it looks like we're hitting it off. <laughs> okay, Mickey, that laugh. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Mickey Smith seems like a really nice guy. I'd like to get to know him better, but don't want to rush it. I'll tickle him and see how he reacts. I'm sorry, Riley. You don't want to rush things, yet you want to tickle him? I don't know about that. That just seems like any kind of like putting your hands on someone is very personal. Whether you're doing it in a playful way, that's a very personal thing. I know that I would be super uncomfortable if someone that I just met and talked to for about half an hour all of a sudden just decided to start tickling me. That would just be really uncomfortable. Anyway, if that's what you want to do. So that's what we're going to do. You want to tickle Mickey. Okay. Is that under play? Yes, it is. Tickle. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Many social interactions with other Sims depend on the quality of the relationship you have with them. I know. I know. See, our relationship is going pretty well in regards to The Sims 2. Like, we have a daily of 23, a lifetime of 1. Look at it. Yeah, Riley, I don't know what you thought was going to happen there, Riley. What did you think? What did you think? Like, I am with Mickey. That was insanely freaking strange. Just relax a little bit. So you've got a little bit of a crush on him. That doesn't mean you can immediately just put your hands on him. That's really weird. <laughs> really weird. Ow, ow. Oh, I can hear ow, 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 ow in the background. What are these girls doing? Are they just like fighting in Aunt Sharon's house? Oh, oh, that is an evil face if I have ever seen one. Agora. I mean, Fiona was also pretty nasty to us before. Oh, <gasps> I thought Agora's face was bad. Oh my God. These girls are clearly fighting over Mickey and I'm just inserting myself into the drama. The thing is, girls, you've left Mickey alone with me and here i am just inserting myself into the situation i am going to make mickey fall in love with me it's happening look at him you know what i kind of feel like mickey and riley are kind of like similar like he's just flexing his muscles and it's like i didn't ask you to do that <laughs> like no one asked you to do that mickey so maybe mickey and riley are one in the same maybe they're meant to be together maybe you still have the goal to tickle Mickey? Why? We did it and it went wrong. I'll put it in the queue, but I don't think it's going to go well, Riley. We're only just recovering from the first time you tickled him. We'll see how it goes, though. Maybe because our relationship is a little bit better. Not in the lifetime, but in the daily. Maybe he'll like it this time. Who knows? <laughs> oh, what was that about? <laughs> Okay, see, so he did like it that time, which is really strange to me. Really strange to me. Okay, so we are starting to have some needs happen. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking to Mickey for the minute. I'm going to wait and see if there's any more social things that they're going to want. But I'm kind of wanting these two to get the hell out of my house, honestly. Not even my house. Aunt Sharon's house. Oh, see, Mickey's thinking about love. He's got hearts happening. Mickey definitely feels like a player to me. He definitely does. But maybe we could win him over. Maybe we could sort him out and win him over. You shouldn't have to do that. If, if he's a bit of a player, that's a bit of a red flag. Honestly. <laughs> They'll only love you when they're playing, as Fleetwood Mac says. Anyway, this isn't deep talk with Sarah time. This is Sims life stories. What the hell is going on? Give me another goal time. <laughs> Also, it's five o'clock at night. <laughs> 17 is five in 24 hour time. And Aunt Sharon is not back from the bank yet. Where is Aunt Sharon? I am going to say goodbye to everyone though. I don't know. We're not getting a new goal. And I, it's kind of making me think that the game might want everyone to leave. <laughs> so bye everyone. Thanks for gracing. Oh yeah. We sh oh my God. She was just fanning herself at the thought of Mickey. Oh my goodness. Anyway, relax. Okay, relax. Getting a little bit concerned about Aunt Sharon. I'm also getting a little bit concerned. Oh, we're just hanging out. I think I'm done with my chores for the day. So I think I'll just hang out with my new friends and then hit the hay. I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings me in this new town. Okay, well, I'm glad I did say goodnight to them then because it means I can just 
get something to eat for dinner. Is that Aunt Sharon coming home? I heard what sounded like a car. No, Aunt Sharon is not home. I'm getting a bit concerned. Has Aunt Sharon been freaking kidnapped or something? What is going on? <laughs> what are you making? No, I'm not sure I want you to even have be cooking stuff. I'm not sure that I want you to be doing that. I think I kind of want you to have like a TV dinner or something. You burnt the house down. Although this is going to go in the oven as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh my God. Riley, please do not burn this house down. Please do not have two fires in one day. Okay. Take it out. The dinger went ding. Take it out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting a bit concerned. It's nearly 8 o'clock at night and Aunt Sharon is not home yet. She's been gone for nearly 12 hours. Anyway, we are going to go to sleep because, I mean, Riley's tired and we've got to bring on tomorrow. That's what the game wants me to do anyway. So hopefully Aunt Sharon will be home at some point. Oh, okay. So that's... Chapter one, I suppose. My first day in Four Corners was both exciting and unsettling. First, my crazy aunt decides to get up and go not five minutes after I arrive. I know, right? How freaking weird is that? After freshening up a bit, I met a few of the locals. Fiona is very nice. Is she? I don't know about that. Anyway, but come on, an infomercial coffee machine. At least Mickey is easy on the eyes. I wonder if he's seeing anyone. I think he's in a bit of a triangle and we're about to make it a square. <laughs> That's what we're about to do. Anyway, I don't know what to think about Agora. She's nice, but in a really fake kind of way. I kind of get that with Fiona as well. Anyway, I had fun and even got a little friendly with Mickey, if you can believe that. It's getting late, so I should turn in. Shouldn't Aunt Sharon be back by now? That's what I'm saying. It's six o'clock in the morning. Where is she? You know what, guys? I'm going to take that as being the end of chapter one. So with that being said, that's where I'm going to leave this video of The Sims Life Stories. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. I'm super intrigued. Now I'm even more intrigued about Aunt Sharon. What's going on there? Something's not quite right. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure that we are going to find out in this series. So with that being said, if you would like to see more of this series, more of the drama that's going to unfold, because I am assuming this is only the beginning, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!